Thank you for watching the Greater Pittsburgh Community Media Awards. For the last six years, we've honored some of the best in community programming. October 20th is National Community Media Day. And we ask you to share your love of community programming. Post, tweet, chat. chat. Spread the word about community media and our organizations. Welcome to the 2022 Greater Pittsburgh Community Media Awards, honoring some of the community media makers in the Greater Pittsburgh area. I'm Andrew Stocky, your host for this virtual event. Awardees come from participating community media centers, Pittsburgh Community Television, Bethel Park Public Access, Monroeville Municipal Television, and City Channel Pittsburgh. This year, we will also recognize excellence in community radio and community journalism. Also, let me be the first to wish you a happy community day. Every year on October 20th, Community Media Day celebrates voices that bring awareness to the importance of free speech and accessible media for all individuals to have their voices heard. The Greater Pittsburgh Community Media Awards is held annually in October in recognition of this nationwide event. Now, before we get started, please join me in thanking this year's event sponsors, and they include Rivers Casino, Reed Smith, The Wilson Group, Riverside Center for Innovation, Ascent Systems, Book Miners, Dirt Doctors, Five Star, Key Bank, Liberty Insurance Agency, McGee Maruka and Associates, Telview, TechSolve, and Trinity Commercial Development. We thank all of you for your support. Now, you probably didn't know this, but I am actually a product of community media. My introduction to journalism began when I was in high school. I learned at my local community channel to write, produce, and edit, and eventually that led me to my career right now as a broadcaster here in the city of Pittsburgh. And now, remarks from some of our local area leaders on the importance of community media. Our government access channel is extremely important for Monroeville. We broadcast live all of our public business meetings and then we rebroadcast them. Residents can also find them online afterwards. This really allows for full transparency of what we're doing here in the local government. We also produce content on special events in the community it really showcases all the great things that are happening here in Monroeville. I'm very proud of our department head, Jared Robinson, of our TV department, and his staff for all the things that they do on a daily basis. I also want to congratulate all the other nominees because they deserve the same recognition for these awards. Hello, I'm Jack Allen, Mayor of Bethel Park and community television producer at BPTV. Through these roles, I see the benefit both public access and government access television have for our community. From covering community meetings on our government channel to ensure transparency and to encourage community awareness and participation, to allowing any resident to share their interests and talents with their neighbors. Community television plays a vital role in communicating and capturing the identity of towns like Bethel Park and other participants of the Greater Pittsburgh Community Media Awards. As a recipient of several previous awards, I can also attest to the value of recognizing the efforts of those individuals who volunteer their time to make programs that highlight what makes their community special and gives it a unique character. In a time where there's almost unlimited video content at our fingertips, it is important to remember that some of the most compelling and relevant stories are being told right outside our own front door. I would like to congratulate all of this year's nominees and look forward to making more shows myself to share with the residents of Bethel Park. Hi, I'm Ed Ganey, Mayor of the City of Pittsburgh. Public access television and community media provides vital sources of information for everyone. Now more than ever, we need free, open media sources like City Channel Pittsburgh to keep the public informed and represent the voice of the people. I want to thank everyone who plays a part in creating this meeting and want to give them an extra special shout out to the City Channel Pittsburgh team, Dave, Alex, Bill, and Heather. Thank you for the amazing work you do on behalf of the City of Pittsburgh. Again, thank you. 
Now, on to the awards. Pittsburgh is a great arts town, but many artists, venues, performers, and performances don't get the credit and exposure they deserve. Fortunately, community media is here to step in and provide a platform for lesser known art creators and contributors to be seen. The Arts and Entertainment Award goes to Tall Trees Amphitheater, Dana Babel, producer. Thank you everyone very much for this award. Uh, I also wish to thank the judges and the fellow nominees, uh, as well as Jared, our producer here at Monroeville Municipal Television, everyone over at Monroeville Recreation and Parks, the performers, the groups, and everybody featured in the video, and Julie. Community programming. Stories covering our community's people and events. Who better to tell them than the people who live, work, and play there? That's what community media is about. Real people telling real stories. This year's community award goes to Monroeville Community Day, Jared Robinson, producer. This is great. What a wonderful honor this is to win my first Greater Pittsburgh Community Media Award. I've been in the TV and video production business for 16, 17 years now and have never been recognized in such a way. I don't necessarily set out to get recognition to win awards. Um, really, I just kind of want to make good TV. <laughs> Uh, but it is nice to have my name inscribed and to be recognized in such a way for a project that I've done. Uh, I just really want to thank the Monroeville community for, you know, the people who attend these events and see me and smile for the camera and wave for the camera and all the things that make for nice shots that go into the projects that I do. Uh, also to the other stations who put together these awards, thank you for honoring, you know, recognizing community TV excellence. And, um, you know, to the judges who thought enough of my work that it was a winning quality of work, thank them. And, uh, you know, it doesn't stop here. I don't stop just because I finally got some recognition for something. More things coming from Monroeville Municipal Television in the future. So, you know, stay tuned to see what we have going on out here. In 2017, a group of community media organizations came together with a single purpose to create an event that would promote the mission of community media and recognize the often unsung work of community programming volunteers. The result is the Greater Pittsburgh Community Media Awards, now in its sixth year. Here to give remarks on behalf of Pittsburgh Community Television is Executive Director John Patterson. Hi there. Thank you for tuning in to this year's awards. Our mission here at PCTV is to empower, educate, and enhance the community through media PCTV is a community media and education center that gives voice to Pittsburgh's diverse communities. This awards event is the embodiment of that mission and vision. Tonight, we celebrate voices from all over the Pittsburgh area. Community media provides a vital platform that highlights voices and stories that otherwise might go unheard and untold. PCTV levels the playing field by giving an affordable platform for Allegheny County residents and organizations to express themselves and highlight community issues. Sadly, however, there are clouds on the horizon. Community media spaces like PCTV are slowly becoming endangered species due to a decline in traditional funding sources. Please support community media in any way you can. Thank you. Community Media Day is an annual celebration of voices that brings awareness to the importance of free speech and accessible media for all individuals to have their voices heard. PCTV, Pittsburgh Community Television, empowers, educates, and enhances communities in and around the city of Pittsburgh through media. It's not the buildings and it's not the streets that make up a neighborhood. It's the people that live amongst them. And what makes an individual unique? It's their thoughts, their passions, and the way they communicate. The city's infrastructure is merely just scaffolding for your expression. The stage is set for you to help build your community with your voice. And Pittsburgh Community Television is here to help you be heard. Community media encompasses multiple platforms. Community radio is one that provides experience for future broadcasters or presenting unique program offerings as an alternative to corporate radio content. The Community Radio Award goes to WPTS Radio. Since the beginning, religious and spiritual program producers have been major contributors to the variety and vitality that drives community media. 
Regardless of faith or philosophy, community media provides a welcome outlet for our religious and spiritual communities. The Religious and Spiritual Award goes to Growing in Grace, Dr. Alfred Brown, producer. It's a privilege and uh, great gratitude to receive uh, this award. Uh, I truly believe that uh, without the uh, excellent uh, texts uh, that they have here at uh, PCTV that this uh, honor wouldn't be uh, possible. Uh, I believe that uh, all of the individuals in the categories that uh, I'm in could have received this reward. So uh, I'm receiving it in, in the name of uh, Closer Walk Ministries and Hope Chapel, and also uh, the uh, other uh, individuals in the, in the category that we uh, represent. Thank you very much. Western Pennsylvania is well known for its sports, baseball, basketball, and football. While those sports are great, there are others that are worth our attention as well, as shown by this year's award recipient. Community media highlights additional sports that don't receive widespread coverage, the Sports Health and Lifestyle Award goes to Pittsburgh Sports Line, Al Levine, producer. So Al, I did bring you in here under false pretenses, but as you can see, uh, your program with Master Zhang did indeed win the Greater Pittsburgh Community Media Award for sports programming this year. So you've talked this show up a lot, you're very proud of it, and I'm proud to say that you have won this award. So. Congratulations. I, I am at a loss for words. I'm shocked out of my mind. I didn't trust what your text was because I know you. <laughs> this is the greatest honor and surprise I've ever received. Thanks to BPTV, you and everybody else who's helped me to get this level. I'm so honored. Thanks to PCTV for this amazing media award. I'm just so blessed and thankful and I will carry on with the talking machine. So what are you gonna tell Master Zhang? <laughs> I gotta call him up and tell him we did it. Not only did we do better at BPTV than we did before, but we're now in the tri-state or the tri-county area. Yes, sir. congratulations. Winning an award. Yes. He's, he's from the North Hills, opened up a place in Bridgeville and it's my honor. Can't wait to talk to him. I'm, I'm just rambling here right now. You caught me completely <laughs> off guard. Glad I could dress up. Rarely am I in a suit, but I've worked for you. Well, thank you. I appreciate that, and congratulations again. Thank you so much, and I appreciate all the votes. To present the Ralph Watson Community Producer Award is Luther Dupree. The 2022 Community Producer Award is named after Ralph P. Watson. He was known for his popular classic events television show on PCTV 21 and his annual events which honored those making a difference in Pittsburgh. Watson had a special affinity for promoting entrepreneurship and being a former elected official himself, he respected and understood what it took to be a politician. He had served on the Wilkinsburg School Board and on Wilkinsburg's Borough Council. In 2013, Watson began hosting his classic events television show on Pittsburgh Community Television. In September of 2019, he held a grand celebration at the station for his 100th program. Classic Events Entrepreneur Platform was an award-winning show. Taking home the Best Series Award for the 2018 Greater Pittsburgh Community Media Awards, in 2019, he was awarded the Flo Rice Community Producer Award. Thank you for your service, Ralph, and you are greatly missed. The 2022 Ralph P. Watson Community Award goes to Stephanie Smith. Stephanie, you deserve it. It's an honor to present you this award. The producers voted you, and it's well-deserved. Keep up the excellent work, and it's a pleasure to be a producer with you. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. I'm so happy, I'm proud, I'm honored, and excited to accept the Ralph P. Watson Community Producer Award. I thank the staff here at PCTV. I thank my husband, Niles, my daughter, Gina Marie, who works with me on the Stephanie Smith Show, and all everybody who played a part. Thank you so much. 
Bethel Park Public Access has been proudly serving its community since 1990. And now a few words from Executive Director Dave Cable. Hello everyone, I'm Dave Cable, the Director of Bethel Park Public Access Television, one of the proud participating channels in the Greater Pittsburgh Community Media Awards. I just wanted to take a moment to congratulate all the nominees for the 2022 awards and remind the audience that Public Access Television is a volunteer-based TV production endeavor. The individuals you see in front of the camera are your neighbors, and the content they create is made for you. They're sharing not only the content that they present, but also the time and effort that goes into making these programs possible. This is just one more way that community media reflects the character of the neighborhood that it is originated from. Thank you for watching the Greater Pittsburgh Community Media Awards. If you aren't already a community producer, please consider visiting your local public access station, like BPTV if you live in Bethel Park, and discuss the type of program you could share with your community. Maybe next year, you'll find yourself the recipient of a 2023 Greater Pittsburgh Community Media Award. Thanks again for watching, and enjoy the rest of the show. So Nick, did we forget anything? You know, I think we're missing one cable. You know what I mean? No. Uh, can I help you guys? What the fuck? Uh, where are we going, fellas? What the? Hey, guys, what's going? So come to BPTV, where we have everything you need to make great TV shows, including the cables. We would like to take this opportunity to thank all of our generous local businesses that have helped to make this event possible. A big thank you to our platinum sponsor, Rivers Casino. Thanks also to our gold sponsors, Reed Smith and the Wilson Group. Silver sponsor, Riverside Center for Innovation. And bronze sponsors, Ascent Systems, Bookbinders, Dirk Doctors, Five Star, Key Bank, Liberty Insurance Agency, McGee Maruka and Associates, Telview, Texall and Trinity Commercial Development. Thank you all for your support. Government for the people, by the people. Keeping the public informed about the decisions and positions of our local elected officials has been a community media cornerstone. The Government Program Award goes to Get to Know Your Elected Officials, Jared Robinson, producer. Number two, award number two of the night. I didn't think the first one was coming, so I definitely didn't think the second one was coming, but uh, I'm truly honored, truly grateful, truly humbled to be recognized in such a way. Uh, like I mentioned before, I try to put my best foot forward whenever my name is attached to a project. Uh, and this particular project and assist also goes to my production assistant, Dana Babel. I want to thank him for his help. and our participating council members. We did this project with four of our council members, so uh, without their participation, this video doesn't get off the ground. So uh, thanks to them. Um, we're just, Dana and I, we're just trying to push the envelope in terms of quality for what you think of when you think of community media, and especially in the government access space. We're just trying to put out good quality production. So we have certainly more to come. Maybe you'll be hearing from us more in the future. So, uh, Monroeville Municipal Television, check us out. City Channel Pittsburgh provides a vital service to the community through coverage of Pittsburgh City Council and other functions of our city government. This year marks the channel's 40th birthday. Here to tell us more, David Feiner, Communication Technology Manager with the City of Pittsburgh. Since 1982, City Channel Pittsburgh has been your home for your government. While the names, faces and equipment has changed over the years, our commitment to the city of Pittsburgh has not. Check us out here, here, and here. 
and enjoy all that we have to offer. Thank you for watching. My name is David Feiner and I've been managing people for over 20 years. I think it's really important for employees to find ways to relieve their stress. We are City Channel Pittsburgh. Victory! And we've got your government covered. Public affairs encompasses a myriad of issues that shape, influence, and inform our communities. Residents need to know what's going on in their communities. That's why this category is perhaps one of the most important. The award for our top public affairs program goes to IMS Renovation Update, James Cromie, producer. All right, Jim, I know you're not familiar with the Greater Pittsburgh Community Media Awards, but uh, it's a program around the Greater Pittsburgh area that we participate in every year. And uh, this year, I nominated your program on the IMS renovation for the public affairs uh, category, and it won. Wow. That's so, great. congratulations, Thank Jim. You. Just to introduce him, he's the PR director for the school district. He helped put together this great program and a well earned uh, trophy. So, Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Dave. Would I you appreciate like to, it. Like to say a few words? Uh, we're just really proud of uh, the work that's being done at IMS. And uh, we're also uh, about to construct an elementary center that I think is going to revolutionize education in Bethel Park. And that's something that's very exciting to be a part of. And uh, I'm honored to receive this. I'm certainly surprised. This is very much a surprise. But uh, it's a pleasure also to work with people like Dave and uh, Andy Amrine and really the whole community. One of the great things about Bethel Park is everyone kind of rose in the same direction. And it's a privilege to be a part of it. All right. Well, congratulations, Jim. Thank you. Well earned award. Thank you. Monroeville Municipal Television is a government access channel serving the people of Monroeville. Here now to talk about MMTV is Jared Robinson, Cable TV Director. Monroeville Municipal Television, or MMTV for short. So who are we? We're a government access channel, so we're the G on that pay spectrum. So our primary function to serve our residents and our community is to broadcast live municipal government meetings, so council meetings, planning meetings, uh, zoning hearing board meetings, that's our primary function. In the last couple of years we've broadened that spectrum and we get out in the community a little bit more and do community-based events, so festivals, parades, concerts, uh, really anything just to sort of showcase and highlight what we have going on out here in Monroeville. Uh, we're also looking to expand our scope, we're looking to get into some more live streaming, Really just the way people consume media these days, we're trying to get into those spaces. Uh, so we are on cable, Comcast Channel 15, Verizon Channel 45 in the Moroville area. We're also online on YouTube and on Facebook. YouTube, we're at Moroville Municipal Television. Facebook, we are Monroeville TV Department. So if you have any interest on what is going on out here in Monroeville, look us up, check us out, see what we have going on. Community newspapers, magazines, and websites are indispensable sources of information about local issues and events. They were the original community media. While the trend is now moving away from traditional print to online delivery, the information is still what's important. We want to thank our new partner, the Press Club of Western Pennsylvania, for its assistance with this category. The Community Journalism Award goes to Gazette 2.0. And here to accept the award is Sonia Reese. Thank you, John. This is a great honor for McKees Rocks and all of the communities west of the West End Bridge. Uh, Gazette 2.0 is a small bi-weekly uh, newspaper that reports on all of those communities in that area and keeps the communities from becoming a news desert. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. This is a great honor. Rivers Casino has been a stalwart supporter of this event over the years. And in 2022, they've stepped up to the plate as our platinum sponsor. Without their help, this event just wouldn't be possible. 
Here to announce the winner of the Rivers Casino Series Excellence Award is Dr. Ramon Hart, Director of Community Relations at the Rivers Casino. Good evening. Rivers Casino is proud to be a partner of this great event and we want to congratulate all of the award winners tonight. We're very committed to giving back to the community and supporting local initiatives like this. A lot of volunteer time, effort, and tenacity go into producing community programming. Producing a series program is easier said than done. This year's recipient has shown exemplary achievement in all of those areas. The Rivers Casino Series Excellence Award goes to Healthy, Fit, and Strong, Amy Taylor, producer. I want to congratulate all of our nominees in this year's Series of the Year category, but most especially, Amy Taylor, our winner here at BPTV. Thank you so much, Dave. Thank you. I see that I've won for Series of the Year, which is an incredible honor. Uh, the last two years, I did win for special shows that I've done, and this year, it's for the complete composite of all of my shows. Each one of my shows, I give love, attention, and I try to highlight the people or the businesses that I'm interviewing, and this is especially poignant this year. Thank you all so much for your, your voting and for considering me. Thank you, Dave Cable. Thank you, Amy. It takes a lot of work to put on an event like this, and a few more thank yous are in order. Thanks once again to our sponsors for their generous support. And to the staff at Pittsburgh Community Television, Bethel Park Public Access, Monroeville Municipal Television, City Channel Pittsburgh, and to our new partner, the Press Club of Western Pennsylvania, your efforts are truly appreciated. But most of all, thanks to the volunteers who, before, during, and beyond the pandemic, continue to produce local community programming. You are the community in community media, and without you, none of this would be possible. Congratulations again to all the honorees, and we will see you next year.